Hello, my spicy friends. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new Rollout Dunsparce in the Great League. Uh, so the move updates dropped a little bit earlier than we were expecting. Um, you know, normally they start with the uh, start of a new Go Battle League season, but it seems like they decided to drop them just a little bit earlier than we were expecting, which is which is pretty great. I am looking forward to um, <laughs> messing around with all the crazy new additions that uh, we've we've gotten recently, and. Uh, the, the one I am the most excited to try is Rollout Dunsparce. Um, Dunsparce has been a personal favorite mod of mine for a long time now. Uh, not even considering Go Battle League, just in general. And I've had some fun with it in uh, Silk Cups, like um, Sorcerer, whenever that comes up. So it has been a lot of fun uh, using Rollout Dunsparce and just... Wow, it, it charges up really fast. I, I know they nerfed it, but it's still it's still a very good Pokemon. Um, <laughs> you're gonna see why in a later why in a little bit later. <laughs> I think they nerfed it. Um, Mill Tank is pretty nutty with it. Uh, this isn't a Mill Tank video, obviously, but we will see people running it later. Um, I think actually this is the guy who has it, so it, it, it we're gonna see it soon, and. <clears throat> So obviously we can take a power up punch here as Dunsparce. It's not by the game. But I want to yeah build up energy and get a shield advantage. My plan now, get the debuff as Nido Queen to come back in with Dunsparce and Drill Run for the KO. Um I'm pretty sure Drill Run in I, I, I do kind of get a little confused here because I did not actually check that is on me which one does more damage in a neutral situation like this. I thought it was Drill Run, but I wasn't super sure. Yeah, it's Drill Run. You want to stick with Drill Run for situations like this. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead here and knock out Milk Tank with the Drill Run, and then uh, immediately finish off a small while with a second Drill Run for uh, for the win. Let's go. All right. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's see here. New game up against the... Hey, Scrafty. Okay, this is actually very, very good. This is exactly where you want to see Scrafty. And we can uh, we can afford to tank a foul play as Nidoqueen too, because Nidoqueen is awesome. So we're just going to let them throw whatever they want here. It is going to be a foul play, no doubt about it. We uh, tank that like a champ. And second Poison Fang. Let's go. Can we knock out this Scrafty before they reach a second... Foul play. Yes, we can, because Nido Queen rocks. Uh, let's see what's coming in next. Jellicent. Okay. Oh, man, this game. So, I remember this. So, I think the plan was I was going to, um, like, save it for later. However, things are getting a little bit out of hand here as Umbreon. Uh, so, I think my biggest mistake here was probably, uh, yeah, the game is lagging pretty bad here. Wow. So, I, I did kind of make a bit of a mistake here by not just throwing for chip damage like immediately with uh, foul play or at least getting a shield. You know, either would have been better than literally nothing. I'm not even sure what I was doing here, but whatever it was, <clears throat> nice. Whatever it was, it was um, not not the optimal play. Yeah, I'm not sure what the fuck is going on here. I, I think I uh, I think I was just really tired of doing this battle. Not sure exactly, but yeah, I, I definitely should have won this. Just uh, just a little slip up here and there. Um, we're very close overall. My, my plan was just, I got a little bit greedy, and I was trying to farm this Alola Ninetales all the way down, which in retrospect was a pretty silly idea. I could have just gone for the rock slide here. I didn't need to be trying to tank or shield all these weather balls. But on the other hand, I wanted plenty of energy for the Jellicent uh, because I know I know exactly this is going to go down. I'm going to I'm going to get bubble beamed to death. It's uh, it's kind of kind of sucks. <laughs> what to do? Well, um, yeah, I just I just got to drill run here a bunch. That's the plan. Drill run, drill run, drill run. Let's go. Uh, now this this is very unfortunate. I do sneak a rollout through, but it's just barely not enough. 
uh, and they do try to catch on nine tails, but unfortunately they get a hex through. But I don't think it really matters because we um, hex and rollout have the same turn count. So yeah, really doesn't matter all that much. Let's see what the, what's coming up next. Okay, so this game, Lanoon. This opponent is very spicy and also running some kind of low CP mons. I'm not exactly sure how I'm seeing stuff like this up in like, you know, 2500s, 2600s, but uh, I don't know. Either way, I appreciate the spice. It's a nice change of pace after that long, drawn out Jellicent battle. Um, we, we love to see it. Let's come out next. Okay, Luna's back. So the plan here is going to be uh, throw out Foul Blaze. Very nice. We love to see it. What's coming up next? We're, we're going to keep throwing. Foul play number two. Okay. Can they beat us to a charge move? Yes. They've, uh, <laughs> yes, they can. Okay. So Grass Knot. We, we tank that like a champ. And now we're going to throw more stuff at them. Oh, Jirachi in the back. And man, this team does not want to see a dark type at all of any kind. Going to throw again. A foul play. They are definitely going to shield this. My plan is just basically, I, I don't, I'm not going to bother building up to Earth Power. I'm just going to go for a Poison Fang and then bring in Dunsparce and knockout with Drill Run. Because Dunsparce is awesome and he deserves this knockout. <laughs> you know, it really doesn't matter. Dunsparce is very bulky. So he can easily tank this Doom Desire like a champ. And we are going to destroy this Jirachi in one drill run. Let's go. Boom. Bye, Jirachi. <laughs> That's great. I love Dunsparce. He's, he's the best. Okay, next game. Up against a Talon Flame. Yeah, this is going to be kind of tricky. Uh, I think in retrospect, I should have just stayed in. But I was kind of hoping that I could scare them out. They're going to go for a... Brave Bird, not the greatest, they're bringing a Venusaur. This is fine. I, uh, I I do remember this game. This is like the one where we barely escaped with like 2 HP because, again, Dunsparce is a boss. We love him. He's going to go for a couple more drill runs here. Uh, I Can we roll out down here? I don't quite know. Let's see. Yeah, I think I kind of, I, I probably should have shielded that. I think this is, um, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know if it mattered. Um, yeah, another mistake here. Probably should have brought an Umbreon just to snarl all the way down because Umbreon could have tanked that Frenzy Plant like a champ. You know, uh, we all say things like that here at the moment, it doesn't really matter. But however, it, you know what, this is nice, this is nice. It's not unsalvageable. I catch the foul play on the uh, Umbreon, which is really good we're living that like a champ well, let's see they throw it at us now they have a flame charge okay that's fine that's fine um can make a bit of a oopsie doopsies here by uh yeah i think i try to go for a poison thing on this talent flame from Mido queen but unfortunately i mess up the timing You know, I try to bring it in, and uh, yep, it, it dies. One incinerate. That's all it takes. And I, so from this point, I need to farm all the way down to Umbreon, but you know what? The game is pretty much over at this point. So, a bit of a rough set. Uh, I, I do want to say that I think this, this team is very, very good. It's just that I was kind of making some mistakes there, but other than that, very solid, very solid performance from this team. I do love... <laughs> it's great, you know, brings a tear to my eye. I've waited years for my, uh, for my Dunsparce to be actually good. I've had him since, uh, like, 2019 for fringe PvP stuff. And now he's truly good in Great League, you know? Makes me proud. And so, obviously, Trevenant is going to go for a C-bomb here. That's quite all right. We're going to bring in Umbreon and farm all the way down. Uh, I don't really care if I take a Seed Bomb or Shadow Ball or literally anything. Because I'm going to live it like a champ. Let's count. Next, Skunk Tank. Okay, that's fine. 
Not the greatest, but it's fine. If we're last resort here, let's see what they do. They are opting to go for this sludge bomb. Okay, so my plan was I was just going to uh, try to catch the next sludge bomb on Needle Queen, but um, they're going to go for the crunch here, which is interesting. Um, I don't know what I, I didn't know they had the back at this point, so this is a very risky play. This is a very scary position to be in, not gonna lie. It's gonna take a very good fast move uh timing to get out of this. Or they just don't shield the uh earth power, which was my plan. I was hoping they would just try to tank it. And I need to uh just survive everything here. So they did not throw, which means I can sneak a poison jab through, boost it from poison fang, and knock out the swamp hurt. I am going to have to shield this up, of course. And uh, we we have to race the scum tank here. Can we do this? Can we do this? Yes, we got Earth Power. When we win the game, thanks for watching, my spicy friends. Take care and have a good night.